Okay, today we are attempting the roof headliner step of a two-door uh, sedan. This is a 2627 Model T two-door. So this is the frame for the roof. And we've taken it, taken it off the car. And our first step was to wrap this inner ledge. So um, you can see we've got the fabric coming down below. This is the surface that will go against the frame of the body. And you've got your mounting holes here. We will actually trim away our fabric so that our mounting holes are clear. But our first step was to lay the fabric in and nail it right in that channel. I don't know if you can see that and staple it. So our trim fabric is on all the way around the frame and you can see on this frame it has the wood strips, the lattice on there so we will not be putting chicken wire on. If yours are missing you would want for Shirley to put chicken wire on. Our next step is to take our headliner and begin at the bottom and attach your headliner to each bowl. And I like to take some spray glue and lightly spray each bowl and that just helps when you're placing your uh, tacking strip in place. You can set it in place and adjust it without having to pull staples. So once you have it in place you staple it and then you take your cardboard strip and you'll notice I am about an eighth of an inch below the edge of the wood. So I'm going to line the cardboard strip up with the edge of the wood and that's I'm going to nail that flush but my headliner is actually down below. You want that down below so there's some suspension and you can pull your headliner tight from front to back and it's free to move. So we would secure this and then move on to the next bowl. Okay, we have climbed up our headliner one bow at a time and I'm about to do the last bow. I just want to make sure you see that we are giving the headliner some stretch from side to side. This is a, a wool headliner, so we want to take as much of the stretch out of it as possible. And then also I want to make sure you understand the reason for this tack strip. If we didn't put this in, you would see little divots. When your headliner is hanging, you would see the stress on that nail and on that nail. So by putting this tack strip in, you're evening out that tension. So it will be one nice smooth seam. As you can see, um, well you can't really see because they're blind stitched, but you can see the line is nice and smooth. It's not pulled in with a pucker at each uh, nail or staple. So don't skip this step of putting this cardboard tack strip in. It'll give your headliner more um, security so that it won't pull down. If it's just relying on the fabric, it could tear off of the staple. Okay, we have step two complete. We've got the headliner attached to each bow. You can see we've stretched the headliner from side to side and our little ripples on from between each bow they will be taken out when we stretch the headliner from front to back and to do this we're going to lay the whole frame flat on a table okay now we've got our we've got our frame laid on the table flat you can see we've attached our headliner at each bow and we begin by stretching the headliner from front to back We'll leave the sides to the last step and we want to take all of the stretch out that we can. So you can see I've folded it over and 
then I've stretched it back and we're nailing it right into that same groove that we attached our first wrapping trim. So I'll show you up front. I'm beginning the front part. I fold my fabric over and if your wood lattice is in place this should slide right under there. Hopefully nobody has gone and nailed their wood lattice to this groove. But there's just a fine notch in the wood and that's where all your stapling is taking place. So we're going to fold the fabric over and then stretch it into that groove. And what you're watching for is that all of these seams tighten up. So you really want to stretch as much as you can, especially because these cars have wool headliners. If you leave a lot of sagginess in at the beginning, it's only going to grow as you get into humid weather. Okay, we're finalizing the headliner. And what you're doing is you're pulling the fabric into that channel and stapling it. On the sides, you'll need to loosen the bolt holding the bowl. And I usually start this process from the center and work, work towards the front and then work towards the back. So we loosen up the bowl and we just lift that enough for the fabric to slide underneath it. And then we can attach, screw that bowl back in place as soon as possible.